an interview with Stanley Lipschitz. Interviewer, Irv Joel. Recorded October 7, 2002, during the 113th AES Convention, Los Angeles. More recently, some work on uh, transducers. At the moment, we have something underway uh, modeling the um, nonlinear um, distortion mechanism in coaxial uh, loudspeakers. Uh, from a theoretical point of view, a coaxial arrangement of the woofer and tweeter is ideal because it makes them physically coincident rather than physically separated. So it's ideal from the point of view of crossover and polar pattern. Um, but there's a problem, and that is that they're so close together that there's a modulation effect. The, the motion of the woofer cone at low frequencies actually modulates the radiation from the tweeter. And it can be quite substantial. Uh, you see amplitude modulation, frequency modulation, Doppler effects. And, mm. and, um, and the simple linear model of, uh, uh, of uh, acoustic uh, propagation can't explain this. In a sense, the, the uh, tweeter is, is radiating in, a, in an alternating wind that's due to the woofer. So you've got a sort of bulk movement of, of the air forwards and backwards in the vicinity of the tweeter. So you have to go to a higher order, uh, nonlinear uh, version of the wave equation. Well, the linear wave equation is actually a simplification of the full wave equation, which is nonlinear. So we, we're trying uh, to see if uh, we can uh, develop an analytical model uh, to second or higher order that will explain at least the features of the measured systems uh, reasonably well, so you can see how it depends on the various parameters.